Hi everyone! So, we've come full circle. Remember these? We're going to tackle them today using a division algorithm. What's an algorithm? Just a procedure that you can follow that will help you find a quotient. Algorithms are handy for one big reason. They're faster. Well, with practice, of course. So, with that in mind, let's say we wanted to take 72 and divide it into four even and fair groups. When using real materials, our first step is to count off 72 of these pennies, an amount equal to our dividend. Next, as you know, you lay out your spaces for your divisor and begin to find your quotient by slowly splitting your dividend evenly and fairly. This works every time. The only problem? It just takes a while. Let's look at a division algorithm. Now this one's a nice one to start with because it will remind you of using real materials, but it also introduces you to two very important steps. Steps that all division algorithms use. One is keeping track of the quotient so far. The other is keeping track of how much of the dividend we have left to divide. We're going to start nice and slow using tallies instead of pennies. Take a look. The quotient so far is just one. How much of the dividend is left? Pause and discuss what you think. Hopefully you had the chance to see that we didn't just use one. We used four out of the total dividend. 72, take away the four that we used, leaves us with 68. Let's keep going. Our quotient now is two. And how much is left? Why don't you take a look? We need to take away another four, and that leaves us with 64. Now I know what you're thinking. This is way slower than dividing with real materials, especially now that we need to keep subtracting to figure out how much of the dividend is left. I am very glad that you noticed. We can speed this up. How might you do it? Pause and discuss. Okay, here's our first idea. How about we use up more than one at a time? Let's try two. Now, our quotient is five. How much is left? Watch and see if this makes sense to you. I took away two groups of four that time, right? Two groups of four is eight, and when you subtract, that leaves us with 52. We could do this faster. Let's share out five at a time. Our quotient so far is 10. How much of the dividend is left? Pause and discuss what you think. Okay, we just used four groups of five. That's hmm, four times five is 20, right? So now we have 32 left to divide. I'm going to share out another five and I just realized I probably could have shared out ten at a time the first time it would have saved me time oh well maybe next time oh and look at that we now have 12 left to divide how can we split the last 12 evenly and fairly here's what we did see if it makes sense to you Now our quotient is 18, and how much left over? Let's take a look. And we're done. Look at that, nothing left over. So the solution of 72 divided into four equal and fair groups is 18. 
Let's try one more. We'll see if we can make this one a little faster, shall we? Okay, 81 divided into three even and fair groups. So what are those two important steps you have to remember for every division algorithm? Pause and see what you remember. Step one, keeping track of the quotient so far. And step two, keeping track of the amount left over that you have to still divide. Good. So in order to make this process go faster, how many might you share out into each quotient group? Pause and discuss. Here is what we did. See if it makes sense to you. When you've just shared out three groups of 20, how much left to divide? Pause and discuss. If three groups of 20 is 60, then 81, Take away 60 leaves us with 21. We decided to share out five groups each. You could have approached this differently if you wanted. Six more to divide. Whew. Let's share out two in each group. And then I think we're done. It took us three steps to find the quotient. And we could have done it in four or five steps or even as few as two. It's completely up to you. So now it's your turn. Divide evenly and fairly using the steps you just learned. Don't forget to keep track of the quotient so far and how much of the dividend you have left to divide. Finally, make sure you snap a quick picture to share with your teacher. Good luck, everyone.